Okay, everyone, I have lined my eyes. Let me see if I can zoom in. I have lined my eyes, and I just lined the top lash, and I have um one coat of mascara on, and that is about it. So now I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to just put on some Studio Tech, which I'm not going to put too much on, just to have something on my face today. Just a little something. So I'm going to take my 150 brush. Oops, sorry about that. I hit the, the leg of the camera. And I'm just putting it just all over. And I know this may be a little red. Especially for this time of year. It's not quite the summer. But I didn't feel like fooling with the studio tech. Or the um, other. Or my other face makeup. Because I really just want coverage just to get the redness off my face but not so much full coverage if I was like going out to a party or taking pictures I just want to get some of the redness off and that's about it so I bring that all the way down and just about how much I get on it and I just go over like that and now what I will also do is take my um what is this my 224 brush and um talking makeup I think video it had like a little technique with when you finish using your brushes like today I'm using all of these you take an old makeup wipe and you just go over the makeup wipe to clean it and I sit them out and let them dry so tomorrow I won't have as much build up and my brushes from makeup from the previous day also. Um, so this is my NC45 Studio Finish Concealer. So I just take a soft brush and I just dab it in just to get enough on a brush. Just to cover up some of those imperfections. And I have a lot of acne scars. And I just swirl it in just to blend it in just a little bit. I get it on a brush. And to me, it's almost like airbrushing it away <laughs> a little. So, and I just blend it in. All right, now somebody's texting me. My husband, he must be getting off of work. And if you can see, I have. Oops. I have a bunch of scars here. So I'm going to just take the brush and just go over it a little bit. Round them out. Over here. Just to cover it up a little bit. Not too much. And I just, just basically go for just a little bit, just to cover up some of the marks, but not too many. Because to me, having imperfections, no one should be perfectly perfect for as their face. You should be able to show some, some imperfections. Sorry guys, I need to, don't want to take too long to respond to the text. Um, getting off of work. Do I want anything? Yeah, a milkshake. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my same 150 brush, and I'm using Mineralized Skin Finish in deep. No, this is dark, and I was told this was too dark for me, but, and I may have mentioned this in a previous video. I may go back and get a medium. I don't know. I've been using this so long to where I can't even tell that it's too much. So, go ahead and set that. Now, you know, in a previous video, I stated I bought the Skin Refi Refine Zone Treatment. I was told by my makeup artist to use this 
after everything. So this is the first time. Oh, I need to close this up. This is the first time I'm um using it on top of my makeup. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Too 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 much. So it's on the back of my hand. Just take my finger, not to point the finger at anybody. And I'm gonna just dab it in where I don't like my pores. And I will see how this works. May mainly in my T zone and stuff, so okay. So, um, for as blush, I really didn't think about blush, but I have, um, love thing right here, oh, and I dropped it, so it's kind of like popping out, and I'm going to take my 187 and dab just a little bit, since I have on this purple, and just smile, and just pat it. Just a little bit. Same thing on this side. Not too, too much. Just to give it a hint of color that something is on there, but not too much. So I will come back to you guys with the finished look, the hair on, the lips on, and we will go from there. Oh, and some earrings too. So, see you guys in a minute. Bye. All right, everyone. I am back. Hair is on. Earrings are in. Do you love these? I fell in love with these when I first saw these in the mall. Goes with my shirt. So, as the SP Nation will also say, um, fragrance of the day is Ralph Lauren's Romance. Always yours. This was my birthday present, Valentine's birthday present from the husband and everything. So I have on Mariah. I have Mariah in another color. This one is more gold, red, and brown, where the other one was more brown, black. And this one is in, uh, where is the tag? Let me get it out. So you guys can see she is in F3332240 F3332240 thanks Atia I think I'm gonna <laughs> I think this is like my third one in different colors so my next one I think I might get like in a 1B and have it in um a black color and I also have amber sitting right here on the bed because I pulled it off yesterday and someone asked for a better look of amber in the back. So this is, she's not combed out, but like I said, I did cut her. So she's gold, and she has that red, and then the number four in the back. So, yeah, she is lovely. But like I said, she was a little longer, but I cut her because she was getting a little, um, a little, I'm trying to check and make sure I'm in the picture. A little tangle but yeah this is the look that I came up with today I hope y'all enjoy oh I didn't put my lip color on I have on hush 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 um tinted moisturizer I think so I am gonna wear revealing on my lips I knew it was something I was forgetting no lip pencil normally I do um a nude lip pencil but I'm just going to run to the mall, walk around, no kids, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday and thanks for sharing with me these little segments in between. And I will talk to you guys real soon. Have a good Sunday. Bye.